All right, so there's one more thing I'd like to uh, demonstrate today. Uh, and um, this, um, this basically is about where things stand right now. Um, I actually have a lot of work planned on this. And I cut some corners in order to make it happen. But uh, I want to talk about basically the Clog Builder. The Clog Builder uh, is an application um, that basically, ultimately speaking, is going to give an environment that's going to be somewhat Delphi-like and allow you to compose your applications and GUIs, right, using the same sort of things you would use in the days of, GUI, of, of Delphi or VB and things like that. Um, basically being able to go ahead and add text controls and things like that. Uh, you know, you know your, your buttons and, you know, just sort of the sort of things that you would have been used to, um, you know, in every day. Again, I will be expanding this in a number of different ways in order to be able to offer, um, you know, accessibility into areas, for example, different types of layouts, different types of matters to do that, things like that, you know, um, you know. Uh, this, this, again, it basically just making uh, an entire world of applications possible. Um, you know that uh, that you know again today there certainly are a lot of ways to put things together. But the main purpose, like I said, you know, of Clog um, is is creating GUIs for applications as well. It's not just about you know websites. Uh, for, certainly, of course, you can be used in the web. In fact, I actually have a sample of this running um, actually on on the web right now. Clog.botten.com. And uh, I actually put this up, the builder. You can actually put also actually clogthebotton.com slash builder. Sorry, clogthebotton.com will actually bring you to another sample application. But it, the same sort of idea. I, I Basically, the idea is to make availability for students, for people to come up with different, uh, you know, different types of applications. And again, not just website. Again, you can run them in the web as well. Now, understand that this will, this might, my intention of this application long term is far more than just uh, um, again just an application that um, is laying out GUI's old style you know uh, and by the way I, the old style is not necessarily old style you know the, the fact of the matter is is still a very effective way to be able to go ahead and and create applications um, again you know here basically I've rendered the, the little GUI that we're just playing with uh, the whole time and uh, you know uh, went ahead and you know created a little you know uh, all the, app, the the code behind it. Actually, uh, let's go ahead for a moment. Uh, let's say, uh, just want to show you also, you can, of course, rename your controls, you know, OK button, you know, uh, you know, and so forth. Um, uh, you know, text, uh, you know, uh, uh, give my, my input. Um, and again, again, like I said, you know, uh, the the thing is, like I said, it's just a really fun way to be able to create applications, um, you know, like in Lisp and and be able to do all kinds of nice little creative things. There are some bugs, uh, which you may or may not have noticed, and that's also again because I definitely cut some corners to be able to make sure I had something that I could be able to display to you. Again, there's our import, there's our OK button, and so forth. And I can go in there, and I can, you know, I can add necessary code if I'd like to be able to, you know, modify the user, add events, etc., and, and or just cut and paste this into another application and go. Um, and I, the point is, is this is just a really, really fun way to be able to to use Lisp. I, again, if you're trying to teach people to use Lisp, you know, here you've got this this great way to be able to give people access to tools that have instant results. Uh, you know, making programming fun again. Uh, you know, uh, again, a web does that a lot, but the problem is, is that you don't necessarily have that instant response, and it's just another way of doing things. Now, I, I do have a lot of plans actually for the builder beyond this. Um, uh, I have uh, I have a lot of ideas of things I'd like to be able to make possible, uh, which essentially is, for example, creating applications uh, without actually touching any code, all using Lisp behind it, uh, using artificial intelligence to be able to make certain determinations based on your specific designs, your application, things like that. Now, again, you know, there there was um, there were a number of different tools that existed. Uh, 20 years ago, which I find funny that they they, they somehow have got blown to the way, you know, in the place of various other mass tools. Uh, 
Um, one of which, uh, we, you know, for example, you know, connecting these things, you know, automatically database entries for various different uh, inputs, uh, then to be able to, 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 you know, to then go ahead and connect those to reports. And these are all IT type applications, but these are things that people make day in, day out. I, I know that people use access and they use some other types of IT stuff, but hey, now they'll have an option. They can do things over the web. They can do them remotely and they can all be done really with amazing speed. I, again, I, I'm not saying it's for everybody. You know, there there are some really great tools for Lisp and I McClim, mean, I've seen a number of times, looks amazing, and a couple other things. But this is an entire other way of using the web and using your browser. Your browser basically just rendering your your GUIs. And like I said, again, just sit back. You'll see in time. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to them. Hopefully, other people will be interested in adding on these sorts of things. Um, you know, custom controls. I, mean, I only I only bound a couple of them here for my control list. But you know, eventually, like you said, this, it'll all get there. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I think last year was an amazing year. A lot of great stuff came out from it. This coming year, you know, 2022, I, I call the year of the builder, and we're gonna have all kinds of amazing things. Uh, I think that are gonna revolve around this, um, and th that's sort of my plan. I, I really think that visual tools can get us further. Um, you know, just in general, you know, to be able to create all kinds of really awesome applications. And then again, behind all this, of course, you've got the Power Lisp. And uh, like I said, I just think it's a, it's a really cool tool. It puts us, when I say us, uh, again, I'm new to Lisp also in, in many ways. But uh, I will tell you, I think, I think it puts Lisp basically in a, in a very interesting position uh, for the coming year to be able to enter certain spaces of, of uh, applications that uh, maybe people never would have thought of using this for, and uh, and the same thing, like I said, you know, in terms of in terms of the web, uh, I think that there'll be some really neat creative uses of of Clog to be able to produce websites, um, as well as GUIs like this, that will be very different than, than what people are used to, and uh, I uh, I really look forward to see what everybody's going to do with this tech. Um, I certainly have, uh, like I said, my own ideas, and um, really it's a uh, it's been a pleasure creating. I, you know, again, um, I'm really, uh, really very happy with with everything uh, I, I've experienced in terms of the, uh, you know, the, the entire community here. And um, I'm really looking forward to, to this coming year. And I thank you for uh, allowing me to present the stuff I've been working on. And I really hope you will all get a chance to really enjoy uh, and make something of it all. Uh, thank you so much.